All right, so I'm using some pretty simple spackle tools. I don't want to use anything too crazy in case you guys didn't have some stuff. This is just a six inch spackle blade uh, from Purdy, and this is an eight inch. And what I like to do is put uh, spackle from the bucket on this one, and then I kind of will spread it around with this guy. Uh, but this is my my weapon of choice um, and I'm using uh, just regular green label it's just heavyweight joint compound and it's your standard you get that at uh, Lowe's Home Depot Sharon Williams all those good places all right so I'm just gonna scoop a little out of here spread that on my eight inch blade and then this is what I'm working with so I've got that there I'm gonna scoop a little off and then when you spackle holes like this, what you really want to do is make sure that you're uh, filling it in and also giving yourself enough uh, to sand once it goes on. So I'm just going to spread it here. And your first spread doesn't have to be that good. And then I'm going to smooth it out on the second pass. So then you're going to kind of see how it spreads. And then <clears throat> as you can see around here, in my personal opinion, the best way to get good at spackling is to sand your own spackle, and that will make you appreciate how good it is to be sanding behind somebody that knows what they're doing. Um, so you don't want to have a lot of really rough edges when you spackle. So I, I did what's called like feathering the edge on this outside here, where you tried to smooth out the spots where the spackle is as it fans into uh, the wall, because you want this to have like the least amount of texture interruption as possible uh, when we go to paint. Um, so that's what spackling is all about. It's just trying to smooth out all of the rough surfaces um, so we get a nice, clean, smooth finish uh, when we're uh, ready to put on our top coats of finished paint. Okay, so that was a pinhole or a nail hole that we filled here. Uh, right here, there's just some, this is like an old nail pop that was filled in and kind of, it just uh, some rough texture in the wall. So I'm just gonna do a skim coat over this um, it might be a little bit hard to see on the camera, but it's the same. You're gonna do a first pass and that doesn't need to be good. You're just trying to get the, the spackle on the wall. And then I'm gonna start to kind of smooth it out. And there's a couple spots like that where I just wanna have it nice and smoothed out. And you can see that I like feathered these edges in and that's all nice and smooth now and then when we do a, a nice light sand on it it's going to be a much better texture than it was before um, when you actually get into this it'll make a lot more sense as you start to spackle more and more things so we're going to show you guys a couple more spots all right so right here you can see where there was something mounted to the wall that was pulled off and it ripped off the actual drywall paper so we're just going to spackle this gap and it's a pretty aggressive gap so i just need to make sure i fill this in pretty good here And then when I'm, let's try and get out of the light here, but when I'm feathering these edges, it's basically, you're, you're basically tilting the knife uh, in like an exaggerated way. You're tilting it like this and applying pressure more on the outside. That's really what feathers it nicely into the wall. Um, and it's kind of a feel thing. It's hard to explain without you guys uh, actually doing it, but you get a feel for it. And don't get too concerned with how crazy you get with your spackling. Uh, worst case scenario, the the worse you spackle, the more you sand. So that's all that's, that's all that's just going to end up happening. So we've got a couple nail pops here that we're going to hit in. And uh, you can use a hammer, but if you're using one of these type of spackle blades, it has this metal bottom to it, and I just like smacking them in with that. There's a number of ways to knock in nail pops, but uh, we're just going to show you a real simple way to do it. And uh, it's just one that works really well for you. So these are the nail pops. You've got one here and one here. Usually they come in pairs because um, that's how most drywall is nailed. And I'm going to go dead center. And so now I've made a nice little bowl in the wall that's going to then, I'm then going to fill this whole thing in with spackle and that's going to help fill my nail pop. And when you're filling nail pops, what I'm doing is I'm putting a decent amount of pressure on the front lip when I'm feathering in, and I'm letting 
as I'm smoothing out, I'm making sure I'm filling that bowl and giving myself some room to sand and then feathering it off again when I come down. So that's the, that's pretty much how you do it. All right, so we're gonna spackle some stuff on the ceiling. Same exact concept as spackling on the walls. I like to use a headlamp or a lot of times I'm just using my baton light clipped to my hat. You look like a dork, but it gets the job done. Uh, and it's gonna be a little bit hard to see, but there's some nail pops here and here. Um, and then there's some texture issues here just with old paint and little things. So the same way I would spackle um, if it's on a wall, I'm gonna do it up here. So um, the nail pops, I'm gonna bang in real quick. Spackle those. And if you are gonna take more care spackling, definitely take more care spackling on the ceiling because everyone hates uh, sanding on the ceiling. It's just a lot of uh, shoulder pressure there. So, and then right here, I've got a nice lap mark from an old uh, roll job. So anyway, I'm just gonna fan that out, get some spackle on there, and then we got a little some little gunkies right here. Just gonna spackle that out. All right, so like right here, there's a little uh, some schmutz. That's the technical name for it, and I'm just gonna shave that off with my blade, and then I'm gonna spackle over it. And with spackling, you want to put on the least amount of product uh, while still giving yourself enough to uh, sand off and be smooth when you're done. Amazing.